These are the facts. In Richland County, over 41,000 people, or 12.7% of all residents and 15.2% of people under the age of 18, live below the federal poverty level. As of the last count, there are over 1,000 homeless people living in Richland County. In Richland, too, there are 352 students who are homeless. Over the past year, the United Way has spent over $10 million to help those in need. Those are the facts. Now these are the stories. On August 5th, Mission um, 2011 was held at the Carolina Coliseum. I volunteered for that event. My shift began at 5 o'clock. I walked up to the Coliseum expecting to see a few hundred people waiting to receive the services that were offered. That was free dental care, free medical care, eyeglasses. Um, and instead I was greeted with a line wrapped around the Coliseum that probably was about a thousand people. Um, my volunteer experience involved several um, different types of assignments, but one of the most profound was making sure that everyone who was standing in line received enough water because it was a very hot day. I believe the temperature in Columbia that day reached close to 100. Um, the following Monday, I was in my office and a lady was standing outside waiting for me to get off the phone. And I thought, well, who is this and what do they need, parent, student? And this lady um, said to me, you volunteered at the United Way thing. And that was her words, at the United Way thing. And I said, yes, I did. And she said, I remember you. And I was like, now there were 1,500 of us down there in green shirts with sticking to our skin. How do you remember me? And she said that um, I was one of the people that spoke to her in line and gave her water and ice. Um, but what she said to me was, I just want to thank you for doing that. I just want to thank you for being a part of that. And she was able to receive a pair of eyeglasses um, and get some medical attention. Um, and she was just so grateful that she stood outside my door, that she recognized me of 1,500 people that were volunteering to serve our community. She said, I want to thank you for doing that. And that was the most heartfelt. Um, I can't even describe how it made me feel inside. It makes it worth it on that bigger level, but it also helps me to understand that it's worth it even on a smaller level. I know the dollars that I contribute to the United Way are going to be well spent on citizens here in the Midlands. Um, and I trust that everyone who wants a service will be given some assistance. The nurses use the Children's Dental Clinic a lot, which is part of the Family Service Center that's funded through the United Way. It's very important. Many people don't think about dental health as being an important aspect of the health, but dental cavities is one of the most chronic conditions that students have these days and the most underlooked and underserved. The earlier we can get them in and get them just general cleanings and prevent long-term problems, the better. Um, we have kids in middle school who've never seen a dentist. So our goal as school nurses is to try and identify those students. We do dental screenings in kindergarten, third, and seventh grade to try and see who needs to go for treatment. We would be lost without the United Way and the Children's Dental Clinic. It does give us that outlet for referring students that normally wouldn't be able to receive dental care. It's very important to get out there, volunteer your time, give up you know, your cup of coffee once a month and donate that to the United Way. If you spread it out over 16 paychecks, it's really quite painless, but you can make quite an impact on the life of a child. I basically work with other agencies that the United Way donates money to. As a social worker, I would say it has a great impact, um, especially now with um, the economic problems that we're having. Um, a lot of the state agencies that used to be able to help out can't, so we basically have to go to volunteer agencies, and a lot of those agencies um, depend on the support from the United Way. It means the world to me as a social worker. Um, I've always wanted to help um, others, and especially the students here. When you see some of the struggles that our students here in Richland too have, the things that they have to survive just to get an education, um, you are very thankful for agencies like the United Way. We all want to do more than we can sometimes, but if you can just make a, a little donation, every little bit helps. If you can just volunteer for an hour or so, that helps. Um, and you may think, well, I'll only be helping one person, but 
agencies like the United Way make it um, available to so many different people. Well, I think that if we didn't have the United Way, I don't know that we could provide a lot of the help that we get. We don't have the resources. We have to depend on the resources of the community to be able to help. They really have been really helpful. Uh, they provide clothing, they provide um, any kind of necessity that the kids might have or the families might have at that time. Another thing that United Way does that is probably the most important thing for me is the 211. The 211 is an information services and all my meetings with my Hispanic parents. I work with a lot of with my Hispanic parents. I tell them, if you're in a situation that you don't know what to do, call and, I'm, and, uh, and you're not able to find me, please call 211 because they have Spanish operators. And you can pretty much find anything. And the, every time that I have called, they have been really helpful, really nice. You know that the United Way has been always there for us to you know, to help us in any kind, in any kind of situation, either with organization or with the 211 or with other agency that we might not be aware. We might not say, oh, the shelter is a United Way, but we know that the United Way supports that. We know the United Way supports Harvest Food Bank, and they also, we also know that it is behind the 211 program. Working at Kills, I come into contact with a lot of different families and a lot of different students. And those families have different needs as well as the students. When students have needs, it's really difficult for them to learn if their basic needs are not being met. And we have programs in the school that allow us to do things like provide clothing, provide a way to school, provide just that sense of normalcy um, when they're in school and that sense of safety. I think that helps with academics. The Backpack Program is a program that provides, it provides food for students on the weekends. So what happens on Fridays is I work hand in hand with our school social worker, Ms. Creighton, and we get backpacks filled with food and we distribute those to students that may be in need. We receive calls sometimes from parents that just say thank you for the backpacks. We also receive kids coming up, sometimes kids are coming up to me as early as Wednesday or Thursday before Friday and they're going, Miss Green, am I going to get my backpack? And I'm like, yes, you're going to get your backpack. You always get it on Fridays. So I think that for our kids, they know that someone cares enough to provide food for them over the weekend. We have kids that are, that are going through different things in their lives and they need our help. They really, really need our help. And so I would definitely say that it's really important to contribute. We can do it, we can contribute a little, and some can maybe be able to contribute a lot, but together it can work wonders. Through the United Way, a number of our students and our staff have received incredible services, and I want to ask you to consider partnering either with volunteerism or with financial support. Join us as we partner with the United Way. You can help to write a new story. Inquire. Ask how you can help. Ignite. Be the spark. Inspire. Show that together we can make a difference. Let's write a new story for those in need. Join the United Way campaign today.